Pattern it the small wavy cable stitch. English style, left handed. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles, a cable needle or double pointed needle, and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Webs for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Bright Blue Heather. For this stitch you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, cable to forward, cable to back, or alternatively the right twist or left twist stitch. To begin this stitch you must cast on in multiples of 3 plus 1. Row 1. Beginning on the right side of our work, we're going to purl one. Then we are going to do a cable to back to begin our repeat. So we're going to take our cable stitch here and we're going to slip this first stitch onto our cable needle. We're going to hold that behind our work. And I just lost my needle. That's okay. We'll just put that back on our stitch there. Now we are going to knit the next stitch and then we'll knit the stitch from our cable needle. Okay, so I'm just gonna move that stitch to the tip here and we will knit the stitch right there. Okay, so that's a cable two back. Then we are going to continue our repeat by purling one. So bring the yarn to the front and purl one. And we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across. So we'll cable two back again. Now, if you don't want to use a cable needle for just these two stitches, you can use a right twist stitch, which will have the same effect. So we're just going to knit into the second stitch in our row. We'll keep that on the needle and then we'll knit into the first stitch. Okay, and then we'll slip that off. And that's gonna have the same effect as the cable two back. It'll have a right leaning stitch. And then we can just continue in pattern. So we'll repeat this sequence all the way until the end of the row. Row two, we're going to begin by knitting one. Then we'll start our repeat by purling two. And we're gonna finish our repeat by knitting one. So we'll continue repeating the purl two and knit one until the end of the row. Row three, we're gonna begin by purling one. Then we'll start our repeat by doing a cable two forward. So again, we're gonna take our cable needle we're gonna slip the first stitch onto the needle. This time we're gonna let it hang in front of our work. Then we'll knit the next stitch. And then we are going to knit the stitch from our cable needle. Okay, so this is a cable to forward. And then we'll finish up our repeat by doing a purl one. Now, if you don't want to do the cable to forward and use a cable needle, we can do a left twist stitch. So to do this, we're going to knit into the back loop of the second stitch, like so. Then we'll bring the yarn around to the front and go into the first stitch and then knit that stitch and pull both stitches off together. Okay, and that creates the same left twist or left leaning stitch as a cable to front does. So then we'll purl one. So continue repeating this sequence all the way until the end of the row. Row four, we're gonna repeat row two. So we'll start by knitting one. Then we'll begin our repeat by purling two. And we'll finish our repeat by knitting one. So we'll purl two and knit one until the end of the row. Repeat rows one through four until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the small wavy cable stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more knits today? 
Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com slash VIP.